Hey everybody, welcome back. I'm John Vorrell, your St. Louis area real estate agent, and this is your September 2020 real estate market update. In this video, I'll be covering what's happened in the real estate what? market for the month of August, why now is a great time to sell your home, and how to track your home's value easily for free. That's all coming up right after this. All right, let's start off with statistics. The first one I'm sharing with you today is closed sales year over year from August 2019 to August 2020. Closed sales are up 4.6%. So we have more sales volume year over year. If we look at closed sales from July 2020 to August 2020, in that one month time frame, closed sales have dropped by 2.6%. And given that it's September, we're heading into the fall season, kids are going back to school, it's absolutely normal to see a small dip in closed sales this time of year. The important thing to note here is the difference in closed sales from August 2019 to August 2020. Even though we are still dealing with an ongoing pandemic, sales continue to rise. Next up, we'll take a look at the median sale price. If we compare August 2019 to August 2020, the median sale price has risen by 10% to $235,000. So we're seeing more sales year over year, and we're also seeing a higher sale price. So the big kicker for the month of August is the change in inventory. From July to August of 2020, inventory has dropped by 36.7%. This means there are far fewer homes available to buyers who are in the market. Fewer sellers are choosing to list their homes. And if you are a seller, now is an incredible time to put your home on the market. And I'll talk more about that later in this video. I shoot a ton of videos about what it's like to buy, sell, and own real estate in the St. Louis area. So if you're thinking about buying or selling in the near future, or you're looking at moving into the St. Louis area, I invite you to subscribe to this channel so you can be notified the next time I have a new video. So for the month of August 2020, I noticed two things in my business. The first is that I'm seeing more mutual releases, and the second is that it seems as though pricing has not caught up to the appraised value for homes that are selling. So let's start with the first one, mutual releases. When a buyer makes an offer on a home, gets it under contract, and within their inspection period, for some reason or another, decides they no longer want to purchase the home, which the contract allows, we complete a mutual release. Both parties sign it and the transaction is terminated. So again, I'm seeing more of these over the past month, and I have a couple of theories on why that might be. So I think what's happening is some buyers are getting cold feet about the price they've agreed to pay, then they're doing the inspection and getting out of the contract. Another thing I think is happening is that when buyers are outbidding one another and paying more for the home than they otherwise would have, their expectations change. They're expecting the house to be just about perfect and very few houses are. So the second thing I said I was seeing pertains to pricing. Based on recent closings, it seems like quite a few listings are coming on the market overpriced. Now that's not a global statement. Some micro parts of the St. Louis market seem to have caught up to appraised value, but I'm still seeing a lot of listings come on below where I personally would list them based on the comparable sales. Sometimes I think that's a strategic move on behalf of the listing agent. Price it low, make it look really good, really attractive, get a lot of buyers there, and then hopefully end up with multiple offers. Other times, I think it has more to do with the fact that because prices have been going up, there aren't as many comparables as we need to clearly understand the price when we list a property for sale. So we have to use older comparables that don't reflect today's market condition. So over the next six months, I anticipate that listing prices will catch up with appraised value. If you're a buyer in the market today, you need to be prepared to compromise. You're probably not going to get everything that's on your wish list for your new home, and you're probably not going to get a deal. That doesn't mean you're going to pay through the nose for the house, but if you're looking to step into equity, now is not the time to do that. As a buyer, definitely know what you can live without and understand where you can make compromises. Create a tier A and a tier B set of search criteria. Tier A is going to be your dream house. It's in the right area, it's in the right condition, and it has absolutely everything you need to be happy. Tier B is going to include some homes that might not be perfect for you, but that represent more value for you. When you're putting your tier B together, Consider stepping outside of the geography you've been searching in, maybe looking at different types of home, different sizes of homes, and making some slight tweaks to your criteria so that you can pull in more search results and create more opportunity for yourself. I think buyers that should be in the market today are those that are relocating, 
Those that are upgrading above $500,000 because pricing is a bit more soft there, there are more options available. Buyers that I think should reconsider whether this is the right market for them are those who are cash strapped, those who want to deal, or those who are absolutely inflexible and have to have the perfect house. If you're a seller, man, things are great right now. It's an amazing time to put your house on the market. Not only is inventory 37% lower than it was the month before, but interest rates are still historically low. Those two things are creating a ton of demand from the buyers. And as we know, there aren't enough houses on the market to meet that demand. That all adds up to money in your pocket as a seller. You have the inventory, you have the thing that buyers want. So if it's in great condition, you price it right, and you have a real estate agent who understands how to market that listing, that is the perfect storm for pulling more equity out of your house than you may have thought was possible. And we don't know how long these market conditions are going to last. So if you have the slightest inkling of selling, now is the time to call me, call your real estate agent, and talk about how much you might be able to get for the house and what the next steps are for getting on the market. So whether you're thinking about selling or not, I'm inviting you to sign up for my e-property watch report. It comes out once a month and it keeps you updated on how much your house is worth in today's market. And today's market is changing very quickly. In one month, we've seen sale prices go up 10% and we've seen inventory fall by 37%. So it's very important to monitor your home's value every month so that you can stay informed. My e-property watch report is 100% free. You can unsubscribe anytime. And I'll drop a link in the comments below on YouTube so that you can head over to my website and sign up today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please take a minute to hit that thumbs up button for my self-esteem. I would really appreciate it. If you're thinking about moving or relocating to St. Louis, check out this video I just made about everything you need to know before moving here. And before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you can be notified the next time a video comes out. See you next time.